Hello, I am Terrible Care 1000 and this is part two of my picture vlog from last week and I'll be talking about the rest of my pictures or at least most of my pictures in this next one from this one onwards. I'm just going to jump straight into it because I've already done this once before but I had to redo it. This is my character Midori for Naruto the last movie and Naruto Gaiden. And if you look, she's got some subtle differences to last time when she when I first drew her, she was all subdued with nice neat hair, very simple clothing. But I've complicated her a bit. I give her opposite colours like brown brown shoes, brown trousers, black bandages, and black shirt, black gloves to brown bandages, and a bit of green in the middle. And I did this to make her look more wild, more leafy, more natural than last time because last time she looked with jeans, just blocky colour, and not many trees are blocky colour. So that's that one, and I like it because it's so different from her original design. It's just I wish I went for this for her original design, really. Uh, but now that she's got her Gaiden design and her last design, I'll better keep them as they are. It shows her growth really and how she's improved at the skills she's good at. Because she's a silent killer and she hides in the trees when she kills. So what better way to improve than to design your new hair and not hair, design your new outfit around what you do. The next one I'm not going to pick out, but it's just. Um, it's just the first design for Midori and it hasn't been finished so yeah it's not really worth talking about that one because well I don't think I'll ever finish it but it's just her first design basically the thing you saw but zoomed in this one makes me really embarrassed because this is my Naruto vampire slap crossover sort of thing but it's Orochimaru and Kaede my, one of my favourite Naruto pairings I think one of my the top one of my top Naruto pairings it is the top Naruto pairing I have um, drawing and it's Orochimaru and Kaide as vampires in my own style because you look Orochimaru's eyes look a bit different and stuff like that and I just love how this picture came out because it's just so creepy yet so cool and I used Sharpies for this originally it was just going to be their eyes in colour but you know it changed well it was the eyes and blood but it changed and I just got obsessed with the Sharpies because they really were and I'm really proud of that piece and how it came out because one one thing is they get they they're doing the deed, and I get to make it look like they were being suggestive, but normal at the same time to get out my comfort zone a little bit in my art, and I really love how I did it because it just came out so well, and it didn't look at all too it didn't look too suggestive and didn't look too subdued either, so that's perfect. My next drawing is another sharpie drawing, but it's also mixed media technically because I use coloured pencils for the skin. And it's my OC whose name eludes me because I haven't talked about her in so long. And she's with Tokyo Ghoul. She is paired with Nishiki Nishio. Who is the guy with the glasses who's paired with Kimmy originally in the anime. I have yet to find out how she can be paired with him if she be if she is paired with him, but she's a ghoul called something, right? <laughs> and she doesn't want to be a ghoul. She literally hates her own her own species type, and this is her when she's a girl. If you look, she's distressed, covered in blood, and hates herself. Like it's cracking all around her and everything. And when she looks human, she looks so much happier. And I'm actually happy with how this came out because it really does look like Tokyo Ghoul style. It was so like, oh my god, I did it. And hell, I can't wait to make a story about this. But she really she starves herself more often than not because she hates eating people. I love this picture because it just shows that. The next one was a competition piece for the Naruto fan club. And it was about Midori meeting Jira89 or 98. Um, OC. Um, Alludes me again. And um, you can find all of these names or people on DeviantArt. Too many people to actually credit. So just look at my friends list and you'll find most of them. Um, so this is um, a comic book piece about a fight with Kakashi in the bottom and the reason why there's no words is because I add them later on Photoshop but this was made just to test out my manga skills and pose skills I am really proud of this piece it's just the way it came out, it was so dynamic about it it's just really amazing, I just love it I should have added some movement lines so to add a bit more movement quality to it because for some people it still looks a bit stiff this piece is an older drawing. It was not meant to be in here, but I've never moved it, so yeah. It's been replaced with the Orochimaru drawing up there, you see, that's why. But 
but this is my original balance, who is a tightrope walker for my nightmare circus. Basically, she's got some sort of personality problem where if she's nice and calm and quiet from a distance, but if you get too close, she turns into a psychotic lunatic and will pop your head off with that um, lance. You get too close, you lose your head, quite literally. And it's one of my favourite things because it's all black and white except for the background, which is all red. Next is a manga collection about the death of Midori in a little scene me and DreamWorks came up with. I'm having trouble getting it out. Alright, I'm just going to say it from here. If you go on my DeviantArt, this will be the first thing you see. One of the first few things you see if you look at my gallery. It's just, it's a small manga I made about Midori and Kakashi. I'm getting this thing out, I swear. Aha, gotcha. So this is a manga about my character Midori taking the bullet for Kakashi, basically. This is what she looked like before. Very simple, very sensible design. It was just easy for her, anyway. But she basically takes the bullet for Kakashi when he refuses to move so they wouldn't destroy their only chance of, you know, saving the world. And she refuses to admit, accept that. It goes from right to left. And the words will be added in Photoshop later, along with lots of writing as well on the sides, like, you know, like, rip. Some heartbeat noises, you know, stuff like that. Alright, next page. It was one of the hardest to actually draw because there was a lot of mistakes made. But, um, it's the impact between Midori. Impact of Midori getting stabbed through the chest with sharp chakra. And basically it's Kakashi's reaction after he catches her. It's just, it's one of the most emotional things I ever write. Draw even. And next is... Midori's actual confession scene. She actually confesses her love in the scene. And it's just, it's so painful. It's so horrible. She was meant to look prettier than this when I drew her, but then I realised death wasn't pretty, so... It suits the moment really well because it shows just how much distraught distress and how much she's going to miss him and how much she hurts in one piece. And it's just, that eye there is just so amazing. It's Kakashi's face, it's just, oh my god, it makes me cry. I just love this piece because there's just so much going on in one moment. It's just amazing. It's just so many close-up shots. It's just important. Oh, and the next one, the next page is just heartbreaking. It's just awful. It's just so awful. This is Midori when her pretty much when she dies. Kakashi confesses to her, but when he looks at her, she's already dead, and he confessed to a corpse. And and that piece there, this bit on its own, is just horrible because when he hugs her. She looks like she's looking at him like she's still alive, but she's not. She's literally dead. It's so painful. Oh, it, it makes me really sad because, you know, I wrote it. God, do you know how hard it was to draw? Yeah? I had to stop myself from getting upset so many times. Next is the first drawing I did of my OC, Kaoru, who is the girl with the pink hair, and her boyfriend, Ray, who is three Iwatobi Swim Club characters, She's my owner or C and he's a canon character so it's another pairing between them. And I called it butterfly shipping because they both swim the butterfly. And um it's another Sharpie and coloured pencil piece. I use coloured pencil for the skin and Sharpie for the body. Sharpie for the everything else really. And I'm really proud of this piece because it's just how sweet it came out. It's just a grin, his blush, just everything. It's just so cute. And the hair really does look nice in these colours. She's got ruby red hair instead of red because, you know, all the characters have freaking red hair in that show. Well, Rin and Gore do, anyway. And the next piece is the first, um, Piccolo and Mid Midori, M piece I've done for a while. Mizuki is my OC from, um, hang on, I'm just checking if there's any mistakes. Mizuki is my OC from Dragon Ball Z. She is a Howlamech, which is an alien species I made up because I was sick of the norm, which was Saiyans. And she's a wolf, basically. We share a natural appearance with them, by coincidence, but they are actually full-blooded wolves. And her love interest, which is Piccolo, and basically it's them two fighting together. And I drew this because I wanted to test out my new Pentel, br my Pigma, Sakura Pigma brush pens. 
and it was just so exciting to do that. My next picture was Ray Ryugazaki or Ryugazaki Ray from Free. <sighs> Give me a sec. From Free, who is a who I drew in realism to begin with, but in the end it came up more like semi-realism, so this is how it showed up. And I'm giving you a really bad proportion thing here, his neck is not the size of his face, I swear. It's like a quarter of the size of his face, I'm not really sure anymore. But I did this in semi-realism, in the end anyway. And it, it took a lot of references, I had to look up certain types of mouths, certain types of necks, everything, just to make it look like Ray. And though it has a lot of mistakes in it, I am really proud of how it came out. I'm not sure if I'll do another one for a while, but it was good practice. Next one is, and probably the last one for this video, is my final design for Violet Brave Moon, my OT for Tales of the Abyss, who is one of my, my best characters in the entire series. She's just, well not in my, the entire series, in my entire characters list because she's just so defined, so strong. She's the one I've spent the most time developing. She's had five developments so far and she's the one I'll probably continue to develop until the day I like probably stop drawing or writing, which will probably be never. And this is a final design for the entire show. The entire book I'm writing for it and the book is called Defrosting Icy Heart. I'm rewriting it at the moment but eventually it'll be done. I thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next episode and bye bye.